Let's get to it. Jonathan LeCare Mackey exploded for four points in one period yesterday. So I just get back from the United States doing my shopping, got my Skittles uh, energy drink and all that good stuff. Whole bunch of Gatorade flavors. Don't get me started here on the Gatorade flavors too. I, I hit the honey hole. Uh, AM, PM, the gas station. You know this place quads AM, PM? Whoa. Oh, laughing. I went to it, it, one of these ones where you can, uh, in the States, they got these. They probably have them in Canada too. Down in the States though, a lot of these gas stations, they got showers. Seven bucks. Go take a shower at the gas station. So what it was, they, that had the best, all the flavors. Anyways, Jonathan LeCare Mackey, I get home. He's got two points in the period already. I start watching, picks up two more. Four points. Let's get the stats up here for Jonathan LeCare Mackey up to this point. Uh, we got the video here you know, first, actually. Whatever you want to do, Alex. Whatever you want to do, you play one or the other. Uh, so here's, here's the four assists from Jonathan LeCare Mackey in this game. First two were primary, and this is all in one period, folks. All in the third period in a game that was back and forth. It was a 7-6 final. They ultimately lost. But this backdoor feed from Jonathan LeCare Mackey right onto the backhand of Linus Klassen, and he puts it in the back. And then, then a couple of late ones on the secondary form here from Jonathan LeCare Mackey. He's been great. He's over a point per game now in his 12, uh, eight, in his 12 Al Svenskin playoff games. And I'll tell you, he's finding it a little bit more, like a good good amount of physicality from him. But I really think with him, he, he is going to stay in Sweden, right? He's not coming here to North America next year. Everybody wants him to be in Abbotsford. I'll tell you this for free. He would be getting pushed around in the AHL badly, okay? He's still not strong enough to be in the slot. He's still not strong enough to be in front of the net in Sweden. You got to be strong enough in Sweden to be able to come play in the, in North America around those areas. That's why I love uh, Lucas Forcell. Hey, he's strong enough. He's young too. He's 19 still. But uh, LeCare Mackey, he's got to get stronger. He's going to have an opportunity to do that this year. I uh, heard Rick Dollywall talking about this on uh, on Donnie and Dolly today. We'll have to see what happens with Jurgarden. If they don't win this series, and they're down 3-1 in this series right now, there's some talks that LeCare Mackey might move to a different team so that he's in the SHL. So could be interesting to see what happens here with LeCare Mackey. We'll get into contact with him after uh, his season's over. I'm not going to text him right now. It's too, uh, too busy for him. Uh, 3-1 in this series. We'll see what happens. Their next game, I believe, is Wednesday. So they have a whole bunch of days off here in, uh, in playoff hockey right now at the AHL and the Alsvenskan League. Like, figure it out. Play some hockey. Uh, but we'll have to see what happens with him. But right now, like you can see on the board right now, if you're watching on YouTube, 12 games played, 4 goals, 9 assists, 13 points, and a plus 4. And I, I looked this stat up the other day. So his last eight games, his last eight playoff games, positive Corsi in all of those games. So really impressive stuff uh, from Jonathan LeCare Mackey, really turning things around the playoffs. We've been talking about it for about a month now, ever since he started ripping it up and kind of returned from injury earlier than we projected as well. So good stuff uh, from LeCare Mackey. We got a Burt Cam here. He's knocked right out. Good, uh, good curly dog right there. 